How many words do you think a person says a day? Now you might want to say it depends on the person. Someone speaks a lot, someone doesn't like talking at all. And I totally agree with you. Well, let me tell you that I, for one, talk a lot throughout the day. There are two main reasons for that. Number one is that I'm a very talkative person. Number two, I get to interact with many people. Now for you to get an idea of how much I actually do speak, I will give you a brief of my day. So listen to how my day went and try to guess the number of words I say per day. Yesterday I woke up and I spent some time with my family where we discussed few matters. I then went to work and on the way I made few phone calls. I arrived to work, attended a meeting and then I started working on few tasks. During the break time, I had a conversation with a colleague. It was mainly about work procedures and we also discussed some personal matters. After that, I responded to a few emails and again meeting and then I was done. I went back home, had few interactions with family over lunch. We spent some time doing the chores. After that, I got dressed. I went out with my friends where we bought some stuff. And then I got back home and that was a brief of my day. Now you have kind of had an idea of how my day was and the possible words I might have used. So now let me ask you, how many words do you think I use daily? 5,000? Maybe more? 10,000? Well, I actually was curious to find out the answer myself. So I recorded myself talking to people for an entire day. The number I had as a result was 6,000 words. Yes, I told you, I speak a lot. But do you think these are all different words? Of course not. I started deleting the repeated prepositions, the repeated articles, etc., etc., and I was left with 2,900 words. Now, do you know what this means? Let me first tell you a very small piece of information. There is a total of 170,000 words in the English language. A native speaker on a normal day only uses about 3,000 to 5,000 words. And that's, of course, excluding the repeated words once again. And for grammar, they use only about 40% of the grammar, maybe less. The fact is, it's almost the same with every language. Here's what I'm trying to say. We only use 20% or less of any language most of the time. This means that if you only focus on learning this 20% of the language, you would be able to communicate with native speakers. You don't need to overwhelm yourself with how to say good morning in 10 different ways or how to greet someone in five different ways. Today's message is just get the ball running, start with the essentials and try to memorize complete sentences. And don't, please don't, don't try to understand grammar only after you have learned how to talk. I want you to imagine how babies learn their first language. Do their parents teach them the grammar of that language? Do they tell the baby the meanings of different words? Of course not, even if they do tell them the meanings of different words, in what language will they be translating? <laughs> the baby language? Do they make the baby study and analyze and think before talking? This is by far the best and most effective way to learn any new language. Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked the video, which I am sure you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new video. Thanks for watching and peace out.